Well. Bingo. Through undisclosed methods, we were able to find out exactly what our Freddy question is. If you tied together every shoelace in the world, how long would it be? Our wild guess was 80 million kilometers. And our educated guess was approximately 27 million kilometers. Good question. There were a few variables in our Freddy question. For one, we had to find the average shoelace length which is about 125.73 centimeters. We also had to find the approximate annual shoe production, which is roughly 20 billion. We also had to estimate about how many shoes there are with laces, which is about 53.3%. We also had to consider the annual shoelace production, which is about 1 billion a year. And when you consider that about 5 centimeters of shoelace is lost making a knot, it's more around 121 120.73 centimeters of actual average shoelace length. We had to go through a few steps and conversions to get to our final answer for this Fermi question. First, we started with the amount of shoelaces produced this year, which was about 22,333,333,400 shoelaces. Then we multiplied that by the average shoelace length, which is about 125.73 centimeters. From that, we got 2 trillion, 807 billion, 970 million, 8,000 centimeters. Then we had to subtract the amount of shoelace lost in the knot, which is about 111 billion, 666 million, 667,000 centimeters. So from that, you get a total length of about 2 trillion, 696 billion, 303 million, 341,000 centimeters. Then we converted that big number to kilometers. From that we got 26,963,033.41 kilometers. So, in conclusion, if we were to tie every shoelace produced this year together, it results in a string of shoelaces with a span of 26,963,033.41 kilometers. To put that into comparison, the distance from the Earth to the Moon is about 384,400 kilometers. That's a round trip of about 35 times. Furthermore, the circumference of planet Earth is 40,075 kilometers, which would mean we could wrap the string of shoelaces around this planet 672 times. True story. Warning, do not try this at home. Death or injury could occur. We are trained professionals. Yolo. Yeah, sure. A few sources of error, for example, could be the thing. What you just witnessed is a real life example of what could happen if you have too many sources of error. Fortunately, we don't have too many.